Hello everyone and welcome to another stream of Age of Wonders. Uh, this is Zorki here and today I'll be continuing the Tigran Rogue series. Um, yeah, in the last episode we got a lot of stuff done, um, but also some had some setbacks, uh, as per usual. I mean, the last few episodes have been uh, riddled by setbacks, I feel like. Um, but there's hope, you know, let's not, uh, let's not give up hope just yet. Uh, we have Blue's leader over here. And Blue's army is currently heading over to this city uh, uh, right here. So yeah, if we get this leader down, then we may just head straight for the for the throne city right here. And then we have Blue taken out. The only issue that I see with that is that they're on on the water already, so they might just flee from us and go up north. That would be really unfortunate. Um, we can't really do anything about that. Then uh, our forces are kind of spread out here, over here. And there's some more forces over white. So what I'm kind of hoping for is that they join up forces with white and then start attacking maybe uh, uh, this butcher over here that is pretty much on its own. Um, or maybe my big beetle, uh, in which case uh, we would definitely have a good time against them. So yeah, that's, that's sort of what I'm hoping for. So yeah, I don't think we can do that much else. Um, yeah, that's not entirely true, actually. We can cast another Poison Mastery. Um, I think that's also what I'm going to go for. So we have Corpse Looting in effect, which is really good. Um, which gives us a little bit of gold every single time. And this just makes us stronger. So I think I'm just going to cast this and reinforce it straight away. Just so, uh, just so it's a little bit harder to disjunct. And yeah, over here we're sort of facing this this group right here which is probably coming for us in uh, maybe this turn already um, but I think we should be strong enough to take them out uh, they didn't attack us last turn and I don't think they will do it this turn either um, it would be really nice no this this thing can't be can't be uh, taken out anyway uh, so they do have thoroughbred mounts uh, that's a really really good uh, strategic spell um, I can't even see it oh it's an empire upgrade um, so this Empire upgrade gives them um, plus every mounted unit that they have plus 15 HP and yeah that's just man these things are, are scary to deal with very very scary to deal with indeed uh, also because High Elf Manticore Riders have Inflict Stun so they're actually they're really really good units the only thing is they have Blight Weakness because they're High Elves um, and our Blight Doctor can do a lot of damage to them Especially if we if we also weaken them, um, we can probably take them out fairly quickly then. Um, so yeah, let's end our turn. Let's hope that these guys attack us and, and uh, so that we can take them out. And yeah, okay. So they do go up north, and I don't like that necessarily. I mean, it is what it is, but yeah, not the greatest there. <sighs> sure. Hmm. So they do come at us with some more here. I was really hoping that they would, would come closer to me, but... Uh, well. Let's see. Okay, green is coming for us with a, <laughs> a bigger army right here. Wow, that's a really strong army. Wow, that's a really... That's a really, really, really scary army. Oh my goodness. White is coming for us. There's just dread sieges on every city that I own. Oh my goodness. And this is borderline impossible to defend against. Independence, man. This is... Oof. Maybe we can flee from this? Let's uh, let's hope we can, but I don't think we can. Um, I'm gonna stay in ranged form just now for just for now for the uh, for the mystics. Um, not gonna do anything just yet. I may give it a moving target later, but since they have an assassin, yeah, that has assassin strike, we're probably just gonna die to that. I I highly doubt that we'll be able to 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 kill anything over here, but you never know. Uh, we still have a few more hexes to 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 move to, so I'm hoping that I can just uh, uh, avoid taking damage. But since they have ranged units, I highly doubt that that's going to be the case. Um, let's 
just start heading out here. And yeah, they're just coming at us full force. So yeah, again, I highly doubt that we'll be able to to not take damage for another few turns here. I just hide out in this little corner. Yeah, they'll move to about here, I guess. Oh. Well, that's a definite maybe. Yeah, I, I, I still doubt it, but sure. It's uh. Let's see. Wait, can you move? Yeah, you can move over here. Probably this is the only only hex that I could go to, where it might not get to get damaged. I wanted to get onto this hex, but I kind yeah they they will be able to get my 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 mystic here I think uh, yeah I, I I thought so. It is what it is. At least we'll be able to, to get good damage onto the assassin here. Um, maybe even kill it. So what I'm gonna try, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna guard break this thing. Gonna go move once over here. Kill it. So do you guys have projectile resistance? No, but you do, right? I saw some projectile resistance earlier, yeah, so you're more more impervious to damage. Okay, you still take a lot of damage though. Um, so they all have sprint, right? So that's something that I have to take into account as well. So what I'm going to do here is quick dash this. Um, I don't think I can do anything by turning into panther form. I will still do it, uh, just because I guess resistance is from it. I don't think I can pounce here. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't if I go this way either. So I'm just gonna go into defense mode here. I think that should be fine. Uh, do you still have projectile resistance? No, your, your thing completely changes. Yeah, so I thought that they might target this, uh, um, this unit right there. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna attack them to flank, and then I'm gonna pounce on you. Uh, they might not even be able to sprint away from this one. Yeah, that's what I thought. So now they can't sprint away. That's not too bad, actually. Hmm. Oh man, these fumbles are, are actually killing me. Let's quick dash here and yeah, I think I still think I'll, I'll, I'll attack. I'll, I know that I'm gonna take one, one shot in the back here, one flank. Okay, that's not too bad. How long am I on my pounce? Just one turn. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into defense mode. And I'm going to allow them to sprint away and attack me once. But afterwards, I'm going to pounce on them. And then I'll be in defense mode. And they will not be able to do anything, basically. So, yeah. So, two quick dashes we used here to, to get out of this situation. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the, the, the sun guard that we just got. This was inevitable. Um, so, this city was always going to get taken by blue. Um, we knew this from the start. Oh, that's a lot of shadow stalkers. Oh my goodness. I think I'll still attack this. Oh man, this dread sheet siege is making it really, really difficult for us to, to do anything here. Um, so what I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't think I have anyone with flying or anything like that. I just have lesser flying on the on the Sphinx. So what I ideally would like to do. Oh, they have fast embark. So what I thought of doing, and I think I'm going to do that actually, is I'm going to 
move these guys onto the water and attack the uh, this army right over here. I think our unit should do fairly well. The only thing that is kind of scary is the uh, uh, the leader. It doesn't have inflict stun yet, so that's nice. Um, and the swarm darter. The swarm darter is really really uh, scary. But I think if I move onto the water here, my okay, none of my units have. I, I thought that my my war breed would have. This unit doesn't pay any extra movement point when disembarking. Right. Okay. Okay, that is very unfortunate. Um, I think I'll give up on this city by moving my my big beetle onto onto the water as well. This might be a really big mistake now that I think about it because there's lots of shadow stalkers here, and you know they're flying units, so they can definitely do pretty well on the water. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I was banking on on my uh, on my fast embark here that I would kill this this army straight away. And by doing that, I would uh, um, uh, by doing that, I would be able to take out this army already, and then I just have to focus on the shadow stalkers afterwards. I still think I should be able to take the shadow stalkers. Also, my units have resurgence because of um, because of my unit, my leader here, uh, or my hero, I should say. Um, can we kill these shadow stalkers? We don't really have a good way to kill them. The mystic is a good way to kill them, I guess. Uh, lots of uh, fire and and uh, um, spirit damage. They do have, yeah. They're not they're not resistant against both either of those. And also, I have lots of spirit damage over here as well. Okay, let's see. Goblins are very unhappy. Yes, that's we sort of know that. Um, research breakthrough. That is very nice. Resurrect Hero Research, that is great. Okay, now I need to figure out what I'm what I'm gonna do. Boats and embark units gotta have plus one. Hmm. So embrace but um, uh, um, embrace darkness is really good. Uh, because it gives me all of my units uh, dedicated to evil and the units that I produce uh, um, become life uh, get lifesteal uh, whenever I produce them in a certain city I could also get blind I think blind is also a really really good one to have I think I'm gonna go for for combat spells right now because I think they're gonna be really useful in in the upcoming battles Let's see, race governance level up. Let's do that first. Um, all Tigrid support units get invigorate. Temples and Tigrid through these. Yeah, I think we're gonna get that invigorate. Let's let's see what that is first. Um, F1, invigorate. Restore the action point of, of target Tigrid unit. Hmm. So you basically can let another Tigran unit use another turn. Hmm. That's all right, but I don't think that's that great, to be honest. Yeah, my Tigran units are not necessarily the best units, so I think I will go for um, the happiness bonus. I think the happiness bonus uh, will also uh, give me a lot of... Uh, um, will be able, uh, will be able to handle the the... No, no, no. The, the 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 yeah. The happiness bonus is for the for the city, not for the units in it. So the dress siege and everything will uh, um, uh, that will still be be affecting my units. But at least my cities are going to be a little bit happier. I think two hundred happiness is also a lot of happiness. I mean, invigorate is all right, but I don't think it's 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 the greatest here. All tiger and irregular infantry pikemen units deal an additional damage. Again, a sprint ability and are twice likely to do critical damage. I really like that. 
Yeah, that is not even like I don't even that things that comes close. I think that's a really, really, really good, good uh, uh, upgrade to have. I'm definitely gonna go for for the uh, um, military one on on and the next one. But I think this one is gonna be the uh, the what's it called there. So having happier cities means that you get more uh, more happiness events and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I really hope for. <laughs> I'm really hoping that. This can uh, this can lead to some happiness events that can help us in the future. Um, over here, I just need to get my my troops all together. Uh, next turn, we'll have a shadow stalker in this domain as well. Um, if they manage to kill my leader and they take over the throne city, I have lost. So that is that's a that's a big a bit worrying for sure. I think. Like, even though these are really good units, I think I still should be able to do pretty well against them. I would have loved to see... Uh... Okay, one thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do this. So I'm going to make another road so that my... Oh, I can just barely not reach the, this. Are you serious? Oh, that is really unfortunate. Oh, that is so unfortunate and it's because of this this little mountain tile here and uh, that it can't can't get there uh, this turn so I was hoping to get to my uh, uh, another reinforcement to my to my throne city unfortunately I'm not able to um, if I have something with more movement oh I thought I clicked on uh, left uh I really wish when you un uh, for an undo button or something like this. This looks so horrible. <laughs> I've wasted money as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's just okay. Let's just let's just forget that ever happened. Let's just not look at this ugly ugly road system that I have going here. Okay, let's just ignore that for a second. And yeah, let's see. Okay, so you've won a battle. That's all right. I don't care about that. That's okay. Domain invasion here, we knew that. Domain invasion here, we knew that. Uh, definitely need to be making some more units here, I feel like. Um, I think walls are going to be really good here. Don't know if I can make them just yet. I think I need more units because there might be more, more units coming from the fog of war as well. But the Sun Guards now take two turns. That's not great. Oof. Let's just make some Cheetahs in the meantime. Um, they're decent units, not the greatest of them, but yeah, they're all right. Okay, so this city has migrated. I think I'll just leave you on, on production for now. Alliance proposal, don't really want that. Uh, this has been affected by Dread Seed, such a surprise. Nothing else has been, right? Um, Blinded units cannot. Yeah, let's 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 get the blind first. Hmm. And now, what what to get now? Oof. Yeah, going for a dark pack would be really nice, but I don't think we we can survive for twenty turns just doing that research. So I think. Uh, we'll get something else for now, and I think it's going to be uh, Black Lightning. Yeah, and the reason for that is that it does Lightning and Spirit damage, which the Shadow Stalkers are not immune to, and uh, we can actually get their uh, um, 
uh, get their morale pretty low, even though they are ruled by an emperor, as you can see there on the top. Uh, um, they're really happy usually, uh, but I kind of wanted, wanted to mess with their happiness a little bit at least. Yeah, I don't think we can make it over here in time. And with, I don't think, I know we could all make it in time, so... Can we find another use for these? Yeah, I think I think I was just sending them up here anyway. So ideally, I would have wanted to have them in the battle as well, but I don't think we can make that. Uh, over here, I kind of want to make uh, either shadow stalkers or um, or assassins, or maybe even some ranged units because we we currently are just defending with these prowlers, and they're not very good at at defending cities at all. Let's just leave that as is. Okay, I can try to resurrect a hero. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I think uh, resurrecting a hero here is all right. Um, oh, black is also coming from here. Oh my goodness, man. This is a tough, tough game, for sure. So I'm gonna make some crows first, before I start doing anything else. Because I want to scout. I want to scout what's what else is in here. So I know that there's another Shadowstalker in here. There, uh, they have loads of consumed stuff, so they're usually pretty pretty stealthy units. But I also want to see, uh, okay, not nice. I also want to see what else is in here, uh, what else they have, especially in the throne city. And I think with the rest of the stuff, I'm not gonna do anything. Maybe I maybe I'll, I'm gonna uh, uh, reinforce something. Let's reinforce that by a little bit, and then let's end our turn. Um, what I'm really hoping for is that they don't attack us, but I think they, they will uh, with these units. And in that case, we might be in really big trouble uh, because we're on the water. Um, what I'm kind of hoping for is that blue either retreats or they attack us now, which I deem highly unlikely. Um, Okay, well, they summon a, mer a siren. Yeah, okay, then what? Okay, yeah. We knew this. So this could be the last battle of the of the game. Uh, if we lose our leader and lose the, the, the battle. As I mentioned before, I deem that highly unlikely, but you never know. Oh man, I'm so, I'm actually, uh, I actually can feel that, that I'm nervous for this, for this battle. Oof, I usually never have that. Um, so I'm just going to try and get things into position. So I think the Blight Doctor is going to be very, very important uh, to deal with the Manticore Riders. And I think the Storm Sister is going to be incredibly important. So I'm going to put those two units over here and then just surround them by good uh, um, melee units. So my units are not necessarily the most, <laughs> the happiest. Unit is in hated terrain. Luckily we have bard skills to deal with a little bit of, of their un unhappiness. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna, gonna reinforce my strong units here and I'm just gonna give these guys a touch by faith. Get these guys over here. Get my Warbreed in there. Put it in defense mode because they can just deal with uh, the Warbreed and the Phalanxes that are coming from here. Uh, I don't think you guys have wall climbing or anything like that. No, you don't, but you do have Explosive Death and Fire Spit. So it's just these two units. Anything else that has that? Nope, you guys don't. You guys all don't. Okay, since you have 
uh, um, the uh, fire spit. I'm actually gonna put them in, put him in, uh, behind the, the the thing here, behind the wall. Oh, you you already did a, did something. Okay, now I know. So let's stiffen limbs on something here, on the one in the back. They might do like some steel and charm and stuff or yeah, dispel it. I mean, that's completely fine. Hmm. They're actually coming over this way. That's very surprising. Oh man, I can actually feel that I'm nervous. My goodness. That is a strange feeling for sure. So I think, like I said, these things are going to be the most useful to me. 10% chance to stun. 40% chance to stun. Well, there we go. That's a, that's a good start. Okay, so I can't weaken anything just yet. So I'm just going to fire spit or the poison spit here. And then I'm going to finish them off with that one. That's nice. That's a good start. Okay. High of war breed. We have a 40% chance to emulate there. I think I'm going to go for that. Um, emulation can, can just do damage over time. It doesn't really matter against the war breed now I think about it because of regrowth ability. Um, don't really have the ability to to uh, raise a corpse or something like that. Yeah, I think I might just let them come to me uh, for a bit longer. So I'm just gonna park these units here to protect my 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 ranged units. I think that's the way I want to play this. Okay, so you don't have anything anymore. Let's try and... So what I could do is quick dash my, my High of Storm Sisters here and try to go for another stun. I don't think that's going to be very useful uh, to us just yet. So I'm going to put this this guy in there just to entice either this Hile of Manticore Rider to go for, for the attack there, which I'm fine with, or to get this uh, this Phalanx to come and, and attack me, which I'm also very fine with to get them out of guard mode. Uh, I don't mind if I lose this Hellhound. I don't mind at all, actually. Um, but that may just help me to... to um, to get them out of guard mode a little bit earlier. Yeah, okay, that doesn't do that doesn't do any damage, okay? Well Do I need to blind anything? Not really. Stiffen limbs maybe? Just another one. Just to get them to use their their um, their dispels and stuff like that. I think that's alright. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Bless. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Something's got crippled there. Again, still fine. Oh. Okay, so they're attacking still from, from this flank over here. Very surprised by that. Luckily, the Stiffen Limbs didn't get dispelled, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so Mystic also deals some poison damage to them. So what I'm actually going to do here... Oh, that's a lot of damage, eh? So I'm thinking about weakening something. 
and I'm just trying to figure out what the order will be. So now I will have to think about where these high of uh, um, these manticore riders can attack, right? Uh, so that's something that I have to think about. Need to keep an eye on this guy right here. But him I can sort of take out with my unit right here. Okay, 25% stun. Can I lower its resistance by, with anything? I think the emulate can do. Yeah, so the emulate lowers resistance. Um, noxious vulnerability. Yeah, I might just attack with this one. Okay, we got nothing on there. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Let's just attack and try to inflict the stun. We did get the stun. Okay, that's good. I think I'm just gonna retreat now with this guy so that they can only attack my my cadaver here if they go over the wall. I mean, I'm, I'm completely fine with that. I think I'm still gonna go for the charm on this guy. Okay, that's really good, obviously. And I might just even give him a quick dash. Or I can also give my, my Blight Doctor a quick dash, eh? I don't think my Mystic does enough damage against the, the Manticore Rider to actually kill it. So I also want to kill this thing. You have Frost Weakness, Blight Protection. Um, so they're probably going to dispel this, um, this charm. I'm, I'm, I suppose that's what they're going to do. Uh, I might just give my Blight Doctor another level here by giving him, giving him a quick dash. And then just attacking twice. Really? That's insane. Okay, well, then I might just attack it with, with something else. With you. Okay, I really need to get rid of that uh, that thing. ASAP. So you, I might use for this slither or for the manticore rider that is coming up over here. And I think those are pretty much the only units that I still needed to move around with. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. So the spell on this, that was very, very obvious. Charm resisted. They went for the attack on the, on the thing there. Yeah, okay, now they're in, in here. We still didn't. Oh, we we did get a net. I was I was gonna say like we still didn't get a, a a net on them unfortunately, but right at that moment we did get one. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is try and net them. I mean, that is amazing. Let's weaken that. So obviously I don't want to attack just yet because this, this thing can still stun me. 
Um, how can I, can, do you have any other? So what I ideally want to do is, is um, get this thing CC'd as well. I don't really think I can do that except for with the Storm Sister. Let's just try it. 30% is a good chance and we did get it. That is a great. And yeah, I think now we can just let loose on, on these things. Um, I am going to attack the... Oof. Yeah, I, I do need to kill this turn. And I think I might just start doing that with those things. And then these guys should have uh, uh, coup de gras and backstab. So they will do a lot of damage to these manticore riders that are... Um, man, that's so much damage. That's so insane. Yeah, I use these two ranged units to deal... Uh, um, to deal with those things. So I think it can deal with other stuff now. Like with this phalanx. So you can just finish off that manticore rider. That's fine. So my, my hero has a lot of armor and resistances. So I'm thinking of just getting some despair on here and then actually just charming it. Hmm. So I can probably just kill it, right? That's that's not an issue. Do I want that that thing or do I want a war breed or something like that? Nah, I think I'm just gonna kill this. How am I gonna kill it? Not with that. Oof. Yeah, most likely not with that. I think I'll take the, the safer option uh, where I know it's gonna kill. Uh, you cannot fumble, I think, so this should be all right. And now we still have the Mystic to do some stuff, and I think you should have regrowth. Yes, you do, so attacking you will not do anything, so I'm gonna attack the, the Phalanx here. Uh, you I don't need just yet. Okay, so this is looking actually, this is looking pretty, pretty good, actually. That's, again, completely fine. Don't mind this. Don't mind that, don't mind that. Uh, okay, so Charm is not gonna come back. So what we probably will need to do is, is get rid of some stuff over here. Unfortunate. But that's fine. So I kind of need to kill this. Okay, so the Manticore Rider can't reach anything yet, so I'll just go for a stun on the Matriarch. And then kill it with something other than my Blight Doctor, it seems. Okay, you should be dead, and then I can kill you with that thing. You have leveled already, right? Yeah. Uh, so this thing is dead as well because of Immolated. And now we just have to kill this, uh, these two units over here. Okay, we can do a lot of damage, but the other war breed can also do a lot of damage. So, yeah. How are we going to approach this? Let's try and emulate. That's a good start because now it has less resistance and strength and, you know, lots of good things for us. It's not in guard mode anymore, so we can flank and, and do lots of nasty stuff there. Uh, what I might actually just do is go in defense mode. I don't think it has guard breaker, right? No, it doesn't. So, yeah, if it attacks me now, it doesn't really do any damage. And this thing also doesn't do any damage. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for, like, a defensive option here. Um, since I don't have anything else to do, I might as well get the experience on the uh, on the phalanx here. 
onto my uh, frigid to frozen. Uh, we might actually level from that as well. Yeah, perfect. You I don't use, you I can't use, you I can't use, you I can't use. Okay, good. So yeah, this this war breed is just an absolute unit. At, oh, okay, this stuff. Okay, that's not a problem for us. Also, this not a problem. Um, we have regrowth anyway, so yeah, we can just deal with with anything they throw at us. So I'm gonna walk all the way around. Attack from this angle. And then attack with these guys. And the same goes for you. Attack from here. And then I think the Prowler should already be able to finish it off. Yeah. Good stuff. And then you... Poo, I probably can't stun. But I can weaken again. That's good. That makes it a little bit better to deal with. But man, this is... That's a lot of defense. Yeah, the blessed makes it makes it much harder. So the blessed actually gives armor and resistance to this uh, unit, which obviously makes it a lot harder for me to, to deal with it. Um, I'm just going to try to despair it a little bit here. Mm. So do we have any... Yeah, no, it all does the same damage, I think. Okay, so bleeding and severely poisoned is, re is really nice because that's a lot of damage that, that it's going to take every single turn. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to attack with, with this thing. 5% chance to stun is still better than nothing. Uh, it can only move like two, uh, like one hex at a time. So, yeah, as you can see there, the severely poison is just... Oh, well, just, well that makes it a lot easier. Um, let's see, who do I want to give the experience to? Probably my leader. So here I was looking at the at the Were Panther but, uh, ability, but my unit doesn't have, didn't lose any any HP le yet. So wow, that's a lot of damage. Wow, the weakness is just wrecking this thing. Um, but my unit doesn't didn't lose any HP yet, so Were Panther doesn't really heal anything. I don't think I need any healing on my units either. Um, I would rather get some experience on my leader. Um, I know that it has leveled already, but I think the stats uh, are going to be really good for, for future battles. Okay, so we didn't lose anything. Maybe I think a cadaver we lost. Um, a cadaver and a bard. Okay, that's, that's manageable. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of this. Um, so we will probably lose this, this battle. Just because we don't have any ranged units and uh, uh, they do have flying units. But what I can do... Oh, maybe we'll not lose this. So this is actually something that is really good about this. They have flying, They have two flying units, right? But they, own, but they also have two units that have to punch down my walls before they can actually do anything. So I'll, I'm going to move these guys back and separate the flying units from the, uh, from the other units. So let's move back a little bit further. And once they come closer to me, I can just snare them and snare them in a net. <clears throat> yeah. It's got to be really difficult to, to, to net them because this thing, yeah, has a lot of armor, as you can see. Um, yeah, you have the same amount of movement. So what I'm going to try here is let them attack my... My one little, uh, uh, what's it called there? Um, uh, prowler. So that they come out of defense mode and then I'm just gonna wreck one of them. Oh, that's very, very good. Oh my goodness, yes. So how much, how much chance do I have to net them? 20%. Yeah, that's what I thought. Am I going to go for this 20%? I think I might. 
Okay, so what is gonna happen here? So he is gonna try and... Hmm. Yeah, on that once. If that doesn't work... Yeah, I think I will net another time. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. And then move this guy back. So these two guys still have their net available to, to them. And I basically just don't want them to die instantly or get stunned or something like that. Uh, that's completely fine with me. That's not a problem at all. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and net 35% chance, that's better than what I had earlier. Okay, yeah, that's just unfortunate, but it is what it is. Again, I'm gonna quick dash. Ooh. I could dispel on this as well. 50% chance, and then I can attack twice against them. I think I might do that. Ah, unfortunate. It is what it is. Uh, now one of them is gonna die, probably this one. Oh, okay, both of them are gonna die. Okay, so now they've ac actually cracked the walls. Uh, but I think I should have I should be able to kill them already. Let's kill okay, they also have killing momentum. I didn't remember I didn't remember that, but yeah they do. Uh, do you are you guys elite yet? No, you don't. You're not. But you do have stunning, stunning touch. Okay, the suffocate is gonna gonna be really annoying to deal with. Okay, so this is for sure gonna be the first thing to do. So what I do have is martial arts, and I think with that I should be able to kill these guys no problem. Like I said, let's go. Oh my goodness, man. Even defending against that. These units were way better than what we had, but still we would, we were able to kill them just because of a good strat. Okay, now th this is still gonna be an issue. Like if they start, if they attack us on the water, we might be in really, really big doo-doo. Oh no, please take it, please take the city. Good, that's really good. Now the Dread Siege is gone. Now my units are a lot happier as well. Oh my goodness, that's so good for us. Okay, well they have a lot of units here. I'm not, I'm not too happy about that. No, stop it. Don't, don't, don't get more units over there. No, 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 no. No, even more. No, where are they all coming from? <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, that's actually really, oh. I was going to say that's really good for us. Oh man, what the fuck, man? How many units does White have? What the fudge of Look at all of these Shadow Stalkers! What is this even? Okay, so if we kill Blue's leader here and they're gonna sur and they're gonna uh, um, offer us a surrender, I'm definitely gonna take that like a hundred percent. Man, we are in such big. Look at all of these Shadow Stalkers! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, we are such big doo doo, man. This is the only, literally, the only good thing about this is that we can take the city back with relative ease because they split up their units in such a way. Like these shadow stocks, we would have a really difficult time against. But yeah, since they didn't like uh, um since they put all of the shadow stalkers together we might even be able to take back the city and maybe actually get another uh unit charmed onto our side as well with a with a convert <laughs> but i mean first things first uh we are gonna attack this this thing over here
Okay, still a difficult battle, I, I feel like. Uh, definitely not an easy one, as it says there. Because boat, like battles on boats are always tricky. <sighs> These swarm dodges have to go ASAP. As soon as possible, my goodness. <clears throat> Okay, so we do have a really good target here for a for a nice little sun disk. The goblins, the goblin swarm darters. Yeah, no, they're not very good actually. So I was gonna say they're pretty decent against uh, um, against our enemies, but yeah, our enemies are mainly consisting of shadow stalkers, and shadow stalkers are uh, blight immune. So, yeah, and physical actually, which is exactly the type of damage that they do. So, let's do this first of all. Hmm. So I might just shotgun this um, this guy over here. So these are both melee units. They're not that, that and they're not going to be that useful. This unit I'm going to pull back because of this siren. That's going to deal a lot of damage to my units. And I'm actually going to try and protect this this guy as well from the siren. It has phase, pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, but yeah, the main damage dealer of this army is going to be the the is gonna be the swarm darter here. Uh, we do have resurgence, as mentioned before, um, so we don't have to be too afraid of dying. But yeah, definitely not. Definitely don't want to lose units unnecessarily. Yeah, I don't really want to convert. I think just gonna kill. Uh, I'm gonna just engage this thing. And I think I'm just gonna quick dash something. E. Oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, no. No. Longbow. Yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Yeah, chariot. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do with this thing, so I might as well. So I'm afraid of that. This should deal a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, that was to be expected. So the Siren needs to die to get my Warbreed back. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, well, that was a big crit. <laughs> I thought maybe I can convert the Siren, but yeah. No such luck. Um, longbow onto the siren projectile resistance. Man, this thing is is tough to kill. Very tough to kill. I could just break control as well. Maybe I'll just do that actually. I think that's better than trying to deal a little bit of damage with my, my Mystic. Let's break control. Yeah, so physically they're very, very weak units. Oof. That is a tough unit as well, though. Yeah. Not a great option. 
decent option, I would say. I think I'll just kill this using my Warbreed here. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. And now longbow this and attack it with my stick, with my uh, Sphinx. And you guys, I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna try and get you in position, but I don't think I can use you for anything. Um, I could have quick dash something. I don't think I need it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, my my war breed was never gonna die there, so there was no no point in me trying to do anything fancy there. Um, I can't convert this obviously because it's a leader, uh, so I will just try and, and kill it now. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Good. Put these guys a little bit forward. Attack with a mystic and now kill it with my shotgun. <laughs> okay, so that's blue's leader gone. That's nice. And a lot of cash for us as well. Man, we are swimming in cash currently. Lots of it or lots of items I say. No, there's not lots of items. Um, definitely gonna sell that. I don't think I ever will need that item. These things, are they elemental units? No, right? Yeah, they are. Mm. So I thought maybe maybe I can like cause fear or something like that uh, to, to help me out with these. Against these Shadow Stalkers, but no such luck, unfortunately. Phew. So now I'm, I'm really thinking about how to approach this battle. So I might attack this group, but then I think the Shadow Socks are just gonna kill me. The thing is, since they have, uh, 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 since they have uh, uh, flying, or no, a floating, is, is that what it is? Uh, is that this, what this, this thing is? Yeah, floating. Um, they will be able to move faster on the water than I am. So I think my best option is just to start attacking this so these can all attack that hex right there. And I think I should be able to take this without any losses whatsoever. I might start to heal up some stuff again, just because my units are getting kind of low. But I think dealing a blow to white here is gonna be the, the way for us to go. Am I gonna die afterwards? That's the question I have to ask myself. Or am I just gonna beeline? Nah, I can't beeline for, for, for blues thingy here can I take the capital with a crow with a crow and spells I have 20 casting points no really oh can I do anything with those 20 casting points a blind maybe If I cast a moving target on this thing. Yeah, they have been fire. I think that's just gonna wreck me. They don't have spells. Oh man, if only I didn't, didn't uh, uh, use any casting points yet, I would be able to, to take this out. For sure. Yeah, I think the filth pit is also too much for me to handle with uh, with just the crows. Oh man, that would be really. I think I might still go for it just because I have a chance of of taking out an enemy like that. Let's see if there's anything behind it. No, not, there's nothing behind it either. 
Oh man, how great would that be to 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 get a kill with a crow and win that way? So what I'm thinking here is this, I need to get somehow inside the wall so the filth pit doesn't destroy me. And so this thing can't just sit over here and use its ranged abilities on me from afar. But maybe actually just going in, ah man, man, this is... Is this just suicide? My unit does my unit does have first strike. And projectile resistance actually. Well that doesn't really do anything against against this source of damage. I think I'll just go in and I'll I'll take one hit from the Real pit, oh, and it's weakened. Ah, it's, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. It's dead. No, 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 no. Yeah, the weaken is, is, oof. Oh, chop, 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 chop. Okay, never mind. I'm actually thinking about quick dashing this to get out of here. Because I kind of still want to go for it next turn. I'm just going to try and do it. I don't think I can make it out. No. I think maybe the filth pit is, is enough to kill me here. Yeah, it is. Unfortunate. Okay, so we wasted a quick dash there. Not too big a deal, I would say. Um, I think going for a shot like this, ambitious. But definitely not out of the, out of the realm of possibilities. Um... Let's see, I'm going to go through a few more of these of these things uh, on the right-hand side, and then I think I'm going to call it an, an episode as well. Festival of the Leader, lots of gold for us, that's nice. Uh, we got our first Shadow Stalker here, that's also very, very good. Um, I'm probably just going to go full-on on Shadow Stalkers here. Um, they're trooper level already. Tier 1 and Tier 2 units get an additional level. Yeah, I don't think I can get an Yeah, okay, I need to I need to make this to get another level on my Shadow Stalkers. I might actually just do that. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So it isn't elemental, right? Yeah. Because if I get to if I get to elite rank with these guys, they are just absolute units. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I mean, I have the mana for it currently, and I have the, the, the gold for it, so I might as well go go for something like this. Um, so we survived the attack here. And I kind of want to take back Darcy current now. Yeah, no, let's just go through some of these notifications and then call it an episode. I think I think that's still what I'm gonna do. Okay, so lots of lots of nothing here. Um, so I think I'm still gonna go for one extra prowler here and then start making some assassins as well. Like lightning research, that's nice. We still need to select another research. Let's go embrace darkness. Um, I think making making things with lifesteal makes a l that makes a lot of difference on, on some of these fights, so getting that has got to be really useful for me. Domain Invasion, Leader has leveled up, that's nice. Do I need anything? Total Awareness is nice. Do I need it? Probably not. Invisibility is useless against NPCs. Frost Protection. 
Let's get that. Let's get something like that at least. I think it's time to buff some stats here. Shadow Step is also very nice, but I don't think I need it. I'm using it more as like a support unit at the moment because I, I've been in so many situations right now where uh, I've sort of lost, I've sort of come really close to losing the game if I lost him. So yeah, I think buffing his stats uh, is, is gonna be very useful for me re regardless of what, uh, uh, what we're facing. Uh, heroes have leveled up, that's also very nice. Uh, since he's now leading his own army, I'm going to give him protection from light. Um, definitely very useful since uh, the Frostling uh, um, unit has a lot of fire weakness. So protection from light makes a lot of sense. And then I'm actually going to split up these armies as well. I'm going to still have one here defend defending the capital, but the other one is going to come with me with a leader. Yeah, I think that's this is gonna be the the final composition. The only unit I'm not sure about is the Black Doctor in this um, in this group. I think it's all right, but it's not needed necessarily. So we have a lot of frost damage, some some lightning damage. The poison damage. So the the weaken of the of the Black Doctor is gonna be useful for the assassin, for instance, and also for our unit here. Uh, since it also has black bolts and um, assassin strike as well. Yeah, I think this should be fine. And then I'm going to use these units to, to defend my capital for now. Um, yeah, let's go over here, get back our city. Um, I kind of sort of hope that they take it over uh, so that I can migrate. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I don't. Maybe they're, they're probably just going to absorb it. And then we can't migrate it to, to Tigrans, uh, because it's already a Tigran city. Um, over here, you can just stay there, and I think I'll leave it for now. Uh, so these units, I've not decided what to do with that yet. We might just, just try and attack this this city. Yeah, that's, to be honest, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, and then afterwards, we we'll, we'll somehow have to deal with these Shadow Stalkers. Um, which is going to be incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult. Oh, oh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. But yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you, you, uh, you're facing tough decisions like this. Um, yeah, these units should be fine to deal with. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be for for next time. Uh, for now, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, got a lot of stuff done. We actually killed Blue's leader here, and we do see that some units are are coming coming this way again. So yeah, we might just start. We might just give up the city after all. Um, there's some units here that are uh, coming over the, to to the city here, um, but we almost managed to. Well, we almost managed. We tried to to take out Blue's capital as well with a crow, but that unfortunately didn't work. Um, if we get a surrender offer, then I'm definitely gonna take that from Blue this time around. Uh, and yeah, we also managed to, to fend off the attack on our capital here. So we uh, we could have potentially lost the game right there. Uh, the units were actually pretty strong, but yeah, managed to managed to take that force out pretty pretty handily. Um, but yeah, uh, that this battle is gonna be for next time. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.